Hi. Let's do something different today. Let's cook, dinner, lunch, whatever you feel like doing. Um, also, this is not my entry into the cooking kitchen YouTuber era type of niche. This is still coexisting comfort content, but you know, just something different than doing laundry and the usual stuff we do because yeah, I'm hungry and I'm going to cook my most basic, most boring, some, you know, for me at least, um, dish that is like my go-to everyday food when I'm not doing something extra or special, um, which will be just pasta with different vegetables and I think it's called kidney beans in English as well. And that's the basic meal, you know, a vegetarian vibe because I think I'm going to put some cream in it in the end because I still have some left over from another dish and then it's like a little extra special treat uh, to not have it like without a sauce or without anything <laughs> because this is how I usually eat it. Just put some water in there to have it not be too dry and then I just eat it. As you can see, I don't really care about taste that much. <laughs> I care more about, um, you know, the stuff, the ingredients, not, not the ingredients, the nutrition, the whatever. So it's kind of an in-between thing, right? I, I still like to eat it, you know, um, but if you, if you ask me what my favorite dish is, that would be different different foods, different things, and healthy, uh, and they are not as healthy. Why well, today is not the most healthy version with the cream in it, but it's the 1st of May currently, and that is a national holiday in Germany. I'm going to be a little bit over this, to the side here and out of frame a bit, because this is where my scale is, and I... You know, I ooh, put too much salt in it. <laughs> and I, <laughs> I do this thing probably for the third hundredth time. And never did that happen to me that I, that the soles fell down. Luckily, nothing spilled. Thank you. Um, I'm, yeah, I just went over to, to weigh, I weigh almost all my, all my food, you know, just so I'm always very consistent with it. And there's a little bit too much salt in there. So I'm gonna get it out. Because it, I mean, salty, yes, but not like too salty. <laughs> and you know, this typical issue of pasta having too much, making too little. Well, I was tired of that issue. And I also wanted to track calorie intake and nutrition and stuff. So I just started to weigh almost all the food I eat. And I'm going to eat 150 grams of these type of noodles. And I think there's a mistake happening here. At least I think so, because the ingredients, they always said that they have 13, 14, 15 grams of protein per 100 grams. And there is egg in here, so not good for vegan, but vegetarian. And now it, it, it says one gram of protein per 100 gram. And I feel like that's a mistake. How can this only have one gram? If, it is, if this is without an egg, and this has 12.5. I think they had, I mean, I almost wanted to call them or write them an email and be like, hey, is there, some, is there a mix up? Who is wrong? Is every other type of uh, pasta wrong? Or are you wrong? Or did something change? Or why is there only one gram in here? But it says per 100 gram, it's 30%. <laughs> I think that's a mistake. And you think nobody would notice. 
But I bought it now for the third time and it still says one gram. So I guess there's a little uh, production error there. Maybe I should tell them, right? So they can fix it? I don't know. I don't know, hey. Now, now it's out there. Maybe somebody sees it. <laughs> and it's like, what? I experienced the same thing. Um, it's the one, like no advertisement, but it's from Edeka, their own brand of, for the German, I think it's only in Germany, Breitbandnudeln, uh, the small version of it. Also, we have a second camera today again. Hi, this is the cutting board camera and you can also see it in this camera. Now I said it, now you cannot unsee it. But, um, you know, because this is a little bit very, you know, not very frontal and you cannot really see what's happening. Even though this is not a cooking video in terms of, hey, use how you do it. You can do it as well. But I'm going to put in my food, uh, in my dish, leek, carrots, I think two, and then something I should have Googled the word for, but I did not. No, it's not a cucumber. Um, and I should know this for my German ones, it's uh, zucchini. And I think I know the word, but I forgot. Also, before, beforehand, I washed my hands, obviously. Now, washing the, yeah, whatever you are called. <laughs> and then just, I mean, it's cooking, right? This is not a video about actually cooking stuff in terms of I'm showing you a recipe or something. But this is more like coexisting. You can cook your food on the side, too. And if you're if you're super if you're super into this, you can also watch watch the um, eat with me dinner part afterwards, and then you know it's kind of like we cooked and ate together in a sense. I only use one pan. It's my holy grail. Um, yeah, I'm very particular about the use of it. Somebody else uses it, kind of like comes with an instruction manual beforehand. <laughs> it's just because I like it and I don't want to ruin the coding on there. Uh, yeah, coding wise, um, big issue. I don't have oil at the moment and today the stores are closed and I don't have butter or anything else in the house because I don't typically don't eat that. So <laughs> there's water in here now. <laughs> I mean, if it works, it works, right? So, but <coughs> away from the cooking, not really away, but there's something I forgot to tell you on Monday's video. Oh yeah, by the way, if you, if you have one of the regulars, this is the extra video, because last week I was sick and there wasn't a video uploaded, so I thought this week we could do two. Surprise. <laughs> if I get it done on time with editing, because uh, today is 1st of May, there's a lot of, it's, it's actually it's called directly translated the day of work, which where nobody works and people uh, usually on the 1st of May, there's in, uh, at least in the big cities, there's a demonstration that it can be very, yeah. You know, they, they <laughs> destroy a lot of things and they like to demonstrate against the rich and against everything and against, yeah, just a little bit more of an yeah, aggressive take on demonstrating against the police, against everything that goes wrong in their perspective. Um, yeah. And they like to burn cars of rich people. And my car is not a car of a rich people person. But it, to some it may look like it, I don't know. But even if it's not burned, <laughs> this is it's not a common thing here. <laughs> it's not like every car is burning and it's like over exaggerating. Um, but it, I am, you know, it's, I like to not be in the city on the 1st of May evening when the demonstration is going. It's kind of a tradition now. 
so it's less I'm less worried about the car now uh, nowadays um, I just don't want to be home and not do nothing on a national holiday so after this video I'm gonna edit it and upload it I will hopefully be in time to go somewhere else and if you sorry this is a knife you should not do this if you um, if you if you watch this video first and everything worked out then you will probably see another location in the real what a short form video today if everything worked out otherwise you will see a video from home from here then you know it didn't work out <laughs> But there was one thing I didn't say in the Monday video. I was kind of sad that I didn't tell you about it. Uh, but now I got the second opportunity. Um, and that is I went to, yeah, more or less invited by my uncle, no, my, my aunt, and my uncle was also there. Um, but they're a big, I envy them a lot. The way, their way of living, their way of, being envy is so negative i look up to them in a sense because even though they also have their struggles you know and they do normal nine to five jobs which i'm not very well suited for at least what i think i think like that in the current state of mind um they, from, from the outside, it looks like they're living a pretty happy life, right? And they're into movies, and then... You can be into movies, but you can also be into movies, and then they go to, you know, Disney World, Harry Potter... I don't know what it's called the, in English. The Harry Potter themed... Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's in... In London or England, there's like the street and famous stuff, you know, to visit the places where the movies are shot. And um, recently they went to a Jurassic World theme exhibition thing. <laughs> and um, they asked us if we want to join and since I like them a lot. I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to join. And not gonna lie, a big part of that was also because my mom invited my brother and me. Um, so, you know, how can you say no to a, a lovely thing like that? Spending time with family and getting invited by your mom, like, like ch childhood days. Amazing. <laughs> and, um, I don't know how copyright works on that, but I think I will be able to show you a few, one clip at least. And I thought it would be a, you know, cause Germany usually don't get, that we don't get all the over, like not over hype, but like the hype and the little bit of salt in here too. A little bit more because there's a lot of water going to add in here. That sort of salt will basically be gone afterwards. And we usually don't get this type of Disneyland experiences and the type of um, your yeah, actors playing a part in that, guiding you through whatever. We basically get museum type things where here, this is the dinosaur from the movie. Hey, here is one actor who's supposed to be this and that, Ooh, you know? I went to a lot of the rings I can, exhibition, I call it exhibition, I don't know what's called, a, few, a lot of years back and there was one person dressed up as an Urukai. That was super cool, but it was only one. I would like to go there again, something similar like this, cause amazing. Um, but now kidney beans as well. I don't like the, the water in there, like the, the liquid. So I put them through a, you know, whatever that is called in English, but only half of it. So around 130 grams, but I don't weigh that. 
because this would be a messy thing. I just take a look. And then I don't keep the rest of it in this thing because somebody told me a while ago that this is bad. So I put them in a extra little bowl. And then I put it in the fridge because I eat it tomorrow mostly anyway. And yeah. Trash. Sorry if the camera sometimes shakes. That's because my trash door reaches the bottom of the tripod of the camera. And yes, but this exhibition, I just put them in here like that. Because I mean, you can basically eat them cold, but warm is better. And I always only use one knife. Because I think this just does everything I want to do. It stays sharp for a long time. And usually, when I'm at this stage of my food, that's, that's what I like about it, I just, you know, stir it a bit. Put this on top of here so it's not, like, flowing over as fast. It's better when the... Somebody told me if you have the wooden spoon. On top of that. And since there's a lot of water in here, I wait until this water is, like, reduced or gone. Because then I know that the vegetables are the right, yeah, softness. And I can also hear it. So I go, sometimes I go to my room, have the door open. And then I hear when the water is gone because it's sizzling more. And then I know it's finished. So it's a very good, um, you know, food to give it like five minutes and then... It's done so i don't have to do as much now you know i just wait but obviously when i do this this likes to overflow and then this always looks messy what can i do but still back to the jurassic world exhibition thing <laughs> um but this time i felt like we got the whole american experience um because you, you waited in a line and then you went into the tunnel and into a boat. And the, there was an, like the, the person who worked there did like a whole introduction thing. Like we were really going to Jurassic World, the park thing. And stated some rules and, you know, not to be too close to the dinosaurs. And I was like, okay crazy we never had we were excited because we were like we have never had this um what i can only you know define as an american experience because this is where i usually see this from tiktoks and stuff and yeah then we got the next room the next room it was like all little rooms or little sections not little but like halls rooms and you could do different stuff. You, you see how the dinosaurs are born, you see how they're little babies, and you can um, pet a baby dinosaur, which a person has on his arm, but technically it's a fake arm, and the person's other arm is in the dinosaur, so it moves it. Yeah. And then you saw the typical blue from the movie. There was a feeding ceremony but obviously you can see the legs of the person who is you know like in the costume i mean it's normal but we never had this experience before and so we were kind of like underwhelmed by the exhibition itself i think like the typical german underwhelmness but i was very hyped to see this type of thing in germany but afterwards, I also knew why it's probably not as often done in Germany. Because I don't want to put this on like nation specific stuff, but just the experience I have and I'm with my family and whatever. We tend to be a little, <laughs> yeah, underwhelmed and, and uh, like not really excited by people constantly screaming in their face and playing this role and actor and movie type of thing. Don't want to judge the exhibition as a whole and I think they all did a great job. It's just, yeah, 
the German, maybe European underwhelmness, coldness in a sense, or just not, not being used to it, right? It's also when I watch NBA live streams or uh, NBA games. Um, when there is a break, you know, a timeout, there's cheerleaders, there is kiss cam, there is this cam, and then there is this cam and this cam. And I'm just like, I'm so not used to this because if, if it's a break in football, halftime, that is ads. You don't see the stadium, nothing. If you're in the stadium, it's just a break. You just wait, get some food, go to the toilet, come back. <laughs> so I think the constant entertainment thing is just a yeah, foreign concept uh, for, for me. Not, not one I'm super experienced uh, with. Yeah. Also, I usually never just stay here and watch food get ready unless it needs constant attention. And I know I advise against it, right? Security wise, you should always be at your stove checking everything if it's off. You know, all of the good things. Um. <laughs> Maybe I can get some water in between. Um, anything else? Anything else? So, it's not like from yesterday, uh, from Monday to Wednesday today, a lot of things happened. Well, stream. First time stream again after being sick. Was it's always it's always an extra. I don't know. It's just different vibe. You cannot you cannot have the streaming vibe with Instagram, TikTok, uh, YouTube. I mean Instagram Reels. Of course, you can only go and live stream on Instagram and TikTok, but YouTube as well. But I mean the typical content, the videos. The, short form videos, pictures, whatever, comments. But Twitch is just, or live streaming is just so much more direct and the back and forth is very nice. So if you haven't checked that out yet, feel free to do so. But this is not an ad here. <laughs> this is just, you know, to let you know about that. This thing also makes a lot of noise today. I think it's because the heat outside, the regulars already know. The heat outside is higher in here, it's colder, and then I think the air gets sucked out or blown in. I think it's not had nothing to do with heat, but more like with air pressure. But yeah. A thing that I have to get looked at um, by a professional which I guess I have to do this <laughs> the next weeks. Um, also, I had a thought that I forgot about again. Forgot again. Um, yeah. I was sitting today thinking about what to do, which video, what, how, why, where, when. And I got a little bit into a situation of the typical, am I doing enough? Could I do more? How much free time is enough free time? Because on Wednesdays I typically have more free time, which I could use for emails and whatever, but I don't have too many emails and I don't want to go around. What, who do I write emails to? Companies? Other content creators? I'm new to this, I don't know. <laughs> so I decided to re relocate time on Wednesdays to spontaneous videos, like now, um, or, you know, the everything is possible Wednesday. <laughs> and yeah, it's kind of just, I guess I just want to talk about, and everybody who's self-employed out there probably knows, the one or one of the drawbacks with um, being self-employed is the time, your own time, to value it 
and to take time off but also not take too much time off but also do vacation but also not but also how much should you work but how much should you and how much is this and how many <laughs> and this is something I have very well figured out for like this part I've been doing for seven years either on the side or as a main job in between the sound design thing you get a call you have a job you go if you if you don't have a job you write an email or you call somebody if there is need for a job but with this you know I like the fact that you can you can you can get up and today I could have the best idea of my life either for the best song I've ever did hi recording limit reached welcome back I'm um, the best song I ever did the best short video I ever did and whatever I don't try to hit that every day to be the best I ever did that's not what I mean but just the excitement right that every day feels like a fresh opportunity to to do something different yet consistency is still a thing with the Monday videos and Monday Wednesday Friday short videos and Tuesday Thursday streams <laughs> But, yeah, I guess to go full circle, um, some people always ask me like, oh, you're self-employed, isn't that super hard to do? I, I wouldn't know what to do with my time. Um, and I'm like, yeah, I, I totally get this. Um, but these people also, you know, tell me that they're sick of, you know, not sick of but they go to work I don't know let's say in the morning they come back and they have no energy left to do everything else sometimes you know because they have so much to do at work that they cannot go to the gym they cannot do this they cannot do that and that's something I'm terrified of right more than um Having to do all my taxes myself, having to do timing-wise, schedule, blah, 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 whatever. But the feeling of not having energy for the things I love, that's just something that terrifies me, to be very honest here. And yeah. There were times where there was no energy, no matter what I did. Maybe that's a little bit too private, but just to share a little bit of that. Where there was just no energy, no matter what I did. Because I spent too much a lot of years prior. So I went one or two years without having any. <laughs> and... Yeah. I like to do the things I love. And sometimes I think that's a very selfish thought as well. You know, <clears throat> when you grow up with generations that want you to work hard, to help the nation, to pay the money for the taxes and to pay the rent for all the old people and be a good person of society. <sighs> I think I'm the... <laughs> to be honest, I think now... I do more for the society than I could ever do with going to a 9 to 5 job. Well, there are a few jobs. Of course, if you're a doctor or a nurse who saves people's lives, that's a different story. Or a firefighter, a policeman, or all these important jobs. I don't want to devalue them at all. But I just want to devalue the statement. All the people tend to like to give you as a child to being in a certain direction um, of you know living the same life as them and it takes a lot of courage and uh, time to get out of that and to to you know convince them of the stuff you do like my family is now fully convinced and believes in me but I think that's also because of all of you guys right I mean some belief for me uh, belief in me from the start 
but now nobody is questioning it anymore. But that's also because of the, they also see the, uh, the times change. They are also all, all, a lot of them are very, um, also, uh, have I ever told you about my favorite plate? Perfect, fits everything. It's not, it's like, it goes, it has no annoying, you know, flat part. It's just midway between a bowl and a plate. My favorite one, sorry. <laughs> But they are very, um, uh, a lot of them are very supportive. I don't want to take it away from them. But like you just know, you just kind of feel how the times changed. And I guess what I want to say before getting too much into all of this, at least for the, st the situation I'm in, in, in the country I'm in, I think there has never been a better time to put to not put money and reproduction first anymore, but self-fulfillment and like unconditional love and searching for your own, you know, learning about yourself, searching for your own goals, searching for your own way of living, just to take a little bit more time in the search before you commit to a long-time job. That's just how I feel at the moment. And this is not a general advice. Your situation might be different. <laughs> um, this is the finished product. I, can, I mean, I can also use this can, but I guess I also use this one. Um, yeah, what can I say? This is what I'm going to eat now and maybe you did some food as well on the side sorry for the little detour uh <laughs> with the deep talk maybe that was not as light-hearted as you would like to have your conversation in the kitchen to be but i also say on home parties usually the kitchen talks are the most deep ones <laughs> so yeah thank you for joining thank you for being so loud my little windy thingy and we see each other next time.